Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reviewing to episode 5 of Suicide Squad Isekai. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Seriously? How the hell are you getting all the way up there? <laughs> At least he got honest. Huh? Then they just gonna die! with their Game of Thrones map. I can't. <laughs>
friend. This is the one time we were like, damn, I do secretly kind of wish she had extra bullets. But you see, Harley ain't waste hers. Even though, yeah, she just made a heart. That was good useful wasting. But she at least does a minimum of using her gun. Do you think they left supplies somewhere? Or do you want to, like, somewhat, some way call Amanda and ask her to send supplies? Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold up. You right, though. Of course. Yeah, I mean, didn't y'all ask Flynn Rider? Duh.
That's where it is. I don't think that was a bird. It looked more like a dragon. Are those rope bridges? Girl, you gotta be shitting me. Who the fuck about to walk across that even though they just did that? Mm -mm. Not even if you fucking paid my ass. Yeah, that's like the worst place to be. Well, yeah, now, but you know, but still, worst place to like literally land or crash. <sighs> right. Right? It's just, how the hell are they going to get up there with the fucking dragon up there? <sighs> Is he transforming into a chimera? Uh-oh. Hey, guys?
You might as well use the frying pan. See, if we had it started with that. <laughs> Uh-oh. A radio? Oh, fuck. Thanks, Nana. We definitely taken it home. Hmm. What Arthur though? I mean that's a cute name, but out of all names <laughs> You're not gonna talk about the radio that you found? See, 
Rick is such a mother of and sneak. Ow, my ass. Now, somebody definitely overheard that. So then how are you getting home? and Trangis. That kind of looks like her. We'll find out next week. But these two mofos, okay, but at least we got a cute little baby dragon. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you feel bad that we had to kill my mom, but I mean, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. But no, we got a baby in the family. Oh my god. But no, also, Rick, it, with his ish and screaming and plotting, like, because see, I felt like this even when I watched the movie, the very first movie, I was like, yeah, you know how they're always kind of like felt a time when Rick was on their side, but no, all he wanted to do, mind you, I think, I, I'm, okay, this is a little bit of spoiler territory for the first movie and such, so if you haven't seen it, I am sorry, but that movie has been out for a fucking while, um, he just wants to save his girlfriend. That's all he fucking cares about at the end of the day. So, yes, to team up with the biggest, baddest, like, people in Gotham. Yeah, he's like, at the end of the day, as much as I freaking, like, despise the crap out of each and every single one of y'alls. I do like y'all. I kind of fucks with y'all. But I just want my girlfriend at the end of the day. And, and then what happens in the second movie? Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Doesn't he, like, fucking die? Like, majority of them die in, like, the first, what, five, ten minutes of the second movie? Which was nice. Even, because I only seen the second movie one time. And that was when it got the big behind preview it did on Max. But, um, I don't know. I think the, I, I enjoyed it. I think, I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the first one. Um, because regardless, when you look at both of them, they are two different genres of art and such. There were pros and cons with both of them. There will always be pros and cons with both of them. Just as much as I said in the, um, in the Oshi video about a certain, um, screenwriter who loves to take, uh, oh, well, making new versions of old things and stuff and really dig it into shit. Cause, <laughs> like I said, I recently just found out something he worked on with the fucking Spider-Man series. And I, I found out th something about this like a while back ago, but I completely forgot. And then going back into that rabbit hole and seeing more, and I was like, this mofo was a part of this too. So this is the reason why this thing went also to shit. And, and then, oh God, <laughs> it's a lot. But no, 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 no. This was an interesting episode. Hate the fact that, you know, all their friends are technically possibly dead, including Beanstalk and everyone else. I mean, because they just made friendly with everyone. But it is what it is. I'm not going to talk about the Should I talk? Okay. 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 I'm going to talk about one little thing that I was, it took me out for a moment, but <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever floats your boat. The running animation. I don't know why, but when I was watching it, I was like. What? <laughs> it felt like, mm, if I could say, maybe a little bit of Blue Locks animation, but more of the CGI aspect and such. Um, it's still good. It, that's all I'll say. That's my only little nitpick for this week, because I, I don't think majority of any of us 
was expecting that, and I bet you probably anybody else who also did watch this episode probably two or three times was like, what the hell was that? But no, 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 it's okay. Ready for next week, <laughs> as always. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Suicide Squad Isekai. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every one day. Join my squad, of course. I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.